Viver has truly collapsed. And check this out, guys. You go watch this video on X, by far one of the most interesting videos out there. Basically, this lady went to a bunch of Denver migrant shelters and looked around, asked around, and a lot of migrants are crying. None of them are happy. Many of them are saying that they want to have job permits. Let me tell you guys, many of these migrants, they want to work. They came to America. They went through all this trouble, hundreds of miles. They want to get work permits. They want to get a better place to sleep. But no, Denver basically abandoned 40,000 migrants. They're just sleeping on the streets, guys. They're sleeping in tents. They are super homeless. And Denver is going broke. And everyone's saying one thing. Why in the world did Denver, such a small city of 700,000 people, decide to take in more than 40,000 migrants? And at this rate, they're heading towards 50,000 migrants. And Denver is kicking out every single one of their migrants. They really only have like one shelter left, which is for like families, but that one is already super packed. And Denver is basically collapsing. We have a lot of people in Denver having their hours cut to zero, especially the government employees. DMV hours are shortened, parks and rec hours are shortened, and man, they even stopped planting flowers. This is a catastrophic event for Denver. It had everything going for them. One of the best pandemic boom towns now is a massive migrant dump. Look at this city official even suggesting migrants to go to New York City, go to Chicago, warning they'll suffer even more if they stay. This is something you can't make up. I think Denver is truly collapsing right now. If you look at Denver in the past few months, they went from a super sanctuary city. They were all for the migrants. They took in as many migrants as possible, which made them the city with the highest migrant per capita count. But Denver's population is only 700,000. It's really not that big of a city. I mean, compare Denver to Chicago and New York City. This is an itty bitty city without a big financial hub. It's not a port city. It's not a big transit hub. I mean, it's a very nice city, don't get me wrong. Great looking downtown with skyscrapers and a good suburban vibe all mixed well together. They're pretty decently pro-business too. But then they started doing the migrant crisis. Now the city's going broke. And the reason why Denver is suggesting migrants to go to New York City is because they're about to spend 20% of their entire budget, the city's yearly budget, just on the migrant crisis. And they're spending almost 20% and that's without the shelters because Denver right now is closing all migrant hotel shelters but a single one. And this is a catastrophic event because like I said, you have 40,000 people. When you close down like four to five hotel shelters, all of them are gonna be homeless. And this hotel shelter is only hosting like families. Families are like super young kids. And Denver doesn't really know what to do with all these people. They're going broke. It's really a money thing at the end of the day. And people are like, why didn't Denver first calculate how many migrants it could take in because they didn't do any sort of budgeting and they took in 40,000 people. I think at most Denver probably could have taken in a thousand people and that would have already been a lot where they took in 40,000 people. They take in almost as many migrants as big Chicago, which is a financial center and they have triple the population in Denver. They have way more money to spend on the migrant crisis. So many people are wondering why in the world did Denver even do this? And right now, even Douglas County, that little suburban city right underneath Denver is passing an emergency ban prohibiting unscheduled stops from buses with migrants and says buses who transport migrants, each migrant will be $1,000 and that will be a big lawsuit. Denver right now cannot take in any more heat, right? As Texas sends more migrants to Denver, Denver is begging them to stop and Denver is collapsing. They have to send the migrants elsewhere. 40,000 people is way too much. Like I said, the most they could take in is probably 1,000 max. This is something that a small landlocked city cannot do. This sucks for the residents, and it also sucks for the migrants who came to Denver with promises of perhaps a job permit, a work permit, and a free place to stay for a while to get themselves up to their feet, now face themselves just super homeless, right? Barely any education. The education system in Denver is collapsing. Health system is collapsing, and the money situation is getting worse. And Denver officials are begging migrants to just go to New York City, which if you look at New York City, Mayor Eric Adams is pretty mad about this as well because they're trying to do a U-turn on their sanctuary status. So thanks for watching, guys. Comment below and see you later.